the Angels take Manhattan. All right, this is the one we've all known was coming but didn't want. The final appearance of Amy and Rory under, quote, heartbreaking circumstances, as Moffat put it. This is serious right here. This isn't one of those usual fun episodes we've been having lately. This is real drama. So, all right, what do we have? At first, it's just Rory, Amy, and the Doctor chilling in New York. They have witty banter in conversation, and it feels really good and natural. I like that. But the chill time is interrupted when Rory gets zapped back to the 30s by the good old weeping angels. So Amy and the Doctor have to save him, naturally. And the whole episode kind of tries to have a noir thing going for it, since, you know, 1930s New York and all. But it doesn't really come across. You just have people in trench coats and fedoras and River being in a detective novel or whatever. Yeah, River's in this one, to my everlasting annoyance. But she is a bit toned down from her usual Mary Sue fanfiction character shtick. So I guess I can deal. And of course, the angels are the villains in this. And oh god, they've really ruined them. From introducing these cherub baby angels to the Statue of Liberty being a giant angel. A giant angel that doesn't even do anything. They hype that up a ton, only to deliver nothing really. Just, man, the angels suck now. They were fantastic for a one-time thing. They were great in Blink. It was perfection. But then they got overused. Overused to the point that their consistency is just screwed. They're not lightning fast in this, they don't not move when you're looking at them, they'll freeze just if like the light's on or something. They lose all their threat and presence in this, and they lost a whole lot before, but this is really the lowest they've ever gotten. So yeah, they, they sucked. And with this episode, because we knew that Rory and Amy were somehow going to be lost forever, we were all at the edge of our seats waiting to see how it happened. And you know what? It did happen. That's really the only way I can describe it. It just suddenly happened. No swan song, no big epic moment. They're just there and then they're not. And I guess you could argue that that's realistic, that it makes sense, that not everybody would have this huge grand exit like they all did in the Davies era. But you know what? Fuck that shit! I don't watch Doctor Who for things to be grounded. I watch it for those grand moments. I want bombast. I want spectacle. Not mad disappointment. Really, there's no actual sadness in Rory and Amy's departure. It's sad because it happened, not because of what happened. And that's a real problem for an exit for these characters. These characters that we've been together with for years now. And they're just basically written out? Amy gets sort of a send-off in the epilogue of the episode. Rory gets fucking nothing, he's just gone, which I think is complete bullshit. Rory's awesome, fuck that, he deserves better. The rules that get thrown out with the angels here is horseshit. They've officially been raped. The pacing entirely was crap. Started off easy and nice, and then suddenly everything just started happening at once. They literally introduce a character for like two scenes, and then he's gone. I don't even remember what the shit was up with him, dude was just there. The rules they make up with paradoxes and shit is lame and is only there to facilitate the end of the story. There's no other purpose for it, and it's just pointless. River, thankfully, isn't as obnoxious as she is usually, but she also doesn't have to be there either. She's honestly just more of a distraction in this episode. She could have been left out entirely, but because she's Amy and Rory's daughter and the Doctor's wife and whatever other fuckery she is, she had to be there. Ah. Like, wow, holy shit, I did not expect this. At first I was thinking, oh wow, well, this, is, this is a pretty good tragic episode, but now that I've actually thought about it, and I'm at the end of this video, yeah, this episode was a fucking piece of shit. Fuck this episode, 3 out of 10. I normally give this just a 5, meaning really meh, but because this was a finale for the two longest running companions of the Revived series, it gets a whole two points lower than that. A lot of people are saying that this is the best episode so far. No, The Power of Three was much better. A Town Called Mercy was way better. This one ranks closer to A Silent of the Daleks. Much closer. Maybe worse, just because of how mistreated the companions are. I don't know. Both Asylum and Angels Take Manhattan mistreat them. But in Asylum, it's really just Amy. In this, it's both. Especially Rory, though. 
And that's really the biggest offense. So I say this is worse than Asylum because of that. And it's not because I'm just sad that they're gone. I know you might think that, but that's not why. It's because I'm not sad. I don't have the feelings it tried to get me to feel. It fails because it doesn't deliver a fitting conclusion. All it delivers is the fact that Rory and Amy are gone. There's no emotion behind it. And that's honestly the absolute worst thing they could have possibly done. So here's to you, Amy and Rory. Two companions that deserved far better than what they got. Okay, well, after that cheerful bit of business, it looks like there will be no more Doctor Who Thoughts videos for a while. The series is on break until Christmas for this year's special. But that doesn't mean I'm done. Supernatural returns! Tonight, actually! And I'm a big Supernatural fan, and I'm sure there are some of you Whovians out there that are too, if Tumblr's anything to go from. So stay tuned for my thoughts on the first episode of Season 8 of Supernatural, coming incredibly soon. And well, until Christmas then, stay absolutely fantastic, Whovians.